The Fox 13 10 o'clock news starts now. All right, tonight we get a unique view of the late George Steinbrenner and his beloved New York Yankees. And one of the boss's most startling quotes, and I'm sure you've heard this before, it was about winning. Winning is everything, he said. Second only to breathing. Second only to breathing. And what makes a winner? Well, Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers gets some of the secrets about George Steinbrenner from a, uh, well, a legal heavy hitter in Tampa who knew the man as uh, something of an adversary and a very good friend. Steve Yared has memorabilia from baseball legends. Those are the three pitchers and catchers that did the perfect games for the Yankees. A lifelong Yankees fan and noted trial attorney. It was 30 years ago at a legal conference in Tampa when Yared risked his career and got into an argument with the boss. And before I could answer, he said, what are you, some kind of hot shot? And he was red. And I knew that my next answer was going to be a pretty, pretty much of a gut check. And I said, hey, he goes, you are a hot shot. You're my hot shot. Come in the room and sit down beside me and tell me the truth. Don't be a yes man. A long friendship followed. And with the boss's blessing before he died, Yared wrote the just-released book, The Making of a Championship Heart, Lessons Learned from Baseball and Life. Why do some people become perennial winners in life, whether it's the boardroom, the courtroom, or the baseball field? What is that? With special access to hundreds of Yankees photos, old and new, and quotes like Babe Ruth's, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. Yared's book puts forward a belief he says he and Steinbrenner held in common, that winners have certain traits and characteristics. Preparation, hard work, desire, courage, determination, perseverance, and, and, and those things, they don't go away. Eighteen characteristics in all. The glossy coffee table book has photos and quotes supporting each one. But if you had to pick one, it would be heart. That separates the winners from the losers. Because when everything else tells you that it can't be done, it's the champion heart that finds a way to do it. As former Yankee and Hall of Famer Wade Boggs said, quoted in the book, things in life have to start with a dream. And to be successful, you don't have to dream big but just have a dream. There were a lot of guys that were way better than me. Boggs says it's right. It's heart that made him. And deep inside, right here, is where it all came out of. Sure, we'll sit down. Longtime friends, Boggs was one of the first to read Yared's first draft of championship heart. It's not about a baseball team. <laughs> it's not about baseball. Baseball's a game. Yeah. It's about life. Mm -hmm. It quotes Confucius, Wheresoever you go, go with all your heart. And Mother Teresa, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. Yared found both qualities in his friend. He hand carried by himself the Boys and Girls Club across the finish line here, I know. I know for a fact he built hospital wings because I was there. The only thing is I couldn't give his name, but I knew where the money was coming from. For a charity, a company, or a championship team, George Steinbrenner said, winning is the most important thing in my life after breathing. Breathing first, winning second. Little doubt that his was a championship heart. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now, Steve Yarrett's book is available in bookstores and through Amazon.com. You must have a copy of this book. Mr. Steinbrenner would like this because all the proceeds will benefit children's charities. That was a great job, Lloyd. Fantastic story. All right. Thank you, John. Well, it's hard.